was going to put him in the tree. Looks amazing this afternoon. Now back up into the tree, you need a bit of height for this, for it to work. Now over the last couple of weeks we have been practicing this, so our fingers crossed he's actually going to catch the food. So Austin, are you ready? That's it, sit properly, well done. Austin, come on then. Out comes the bird. Oh, up goes the food. Oh. Oh. No, he hit it, you catch it, he hit it. So you that again. That's a terrible throw. Do you want to pop him back up on the top again? But he did hit it. Now what you need to see is the ability to be able to disable the prey. Now, Obviously, it's much easier to show you if it was a pigeon or something like that, but we're not going to show you anything uh, along those lines. Now, uh, if it was a pigeon, what you'll find, exactly like the peregrine falcon, if they hit it hard enough, it actually makes life much, much easier. It has disabled it. He uh, pretty much has the ability to knock food out of the air. Um, the hand. <laughs> he has the ability to knock food out of the air and then obviously catch it on the ground. And these guys have that ability. They are ground dwellers anyway. So if they're going to catch something, they can literally do it on the ground. That's a terrible place to sit. But we'll give you one more go. Come on then. Out he comes. He's a nice low one. And he catches it in the air. Let's chuck himself there. So he does have the ability. You can see he either hits it disables it or he physically catches it. Now, if it's going to be something up to the size of a seagull, just a free warning to the local seagull, um, he's probably not going to catch that in the air for obvious reasons. He will just disable it like the first time. But the second time round, if it's a little bit smaller, he does have the ability and uh, he is that agile to be able to catch it. It's pretty spectacular.